Welcome to our Unvendor Fair Rock Your Virtual Vendor Booth, Unvendor Booth um, webinar. I'm super excited. I'm Michelle Talbert. I'm the founder of the No Small Business Left Behind Summit series. This will be our third in the series we launched during COVID to ensure that none of us fail because over 40%, 41% as of about May, of Black owned businesses across America closed and that's so 440,000 black owned businesses that shuttered in a three month wow. span and that is devastating and you know we can't be that even if we're doing a side hustle e-commerce i'm not in my space this is one of the times this is the first time i've ever done a fake me out of my actual space but i do have a co-working space called her power space uh we are woman fun with men welcoming co-working uh podcast studio and event venue and i that's it behind me. That's a picture of it because I'm home today. <laughs> um, but just wanted to, you know, ensure that we created opportunities for business owners to be successful, to get the resources. So the very first one was about like PPP and how to get all that money and, and figure out how to pivot your market. The last one was about brick and mortar businesses like mine, which had to lock our doors three months in. And um, now today we are talking about our Unfender event of which you are all a part on this coming Saturday. So I'm really excited that you're here. Um, if you know me, you know well enough that I'm gonna make y'all introduce yourselves to each other, but it's gonna be super quick. So what we do in the Her Power Moves community, which is our online and offline community, Dr. Kia is here. Hey girl, hey. She is our Femme Force leader in the Jacksonville chapter. We have three chapters of the Her Power Moves community, and we are in Dade, Broward, and Jacksonville, which is not a county, but y'all get it, Jacksonville. Um, so I'm gonna ask you super quickly to say the name of your business, one thing you hope to achieve on Saturday. And don't say sales, honestly, because we're gonna talk about that. Don't, don't just say sales. One thing you really, really hope to achieve outside of sales, on Saturday. Okay, so I'm going to start with Ray. Ray, welcome. Hey, hey. My name is Ray Raj Kumar, also known as Lady Rain, the Chosen Jewel. And the one thing that I hope to get from this weekend's event is experience. I'm a new entrepreneur, and this was every bit worth of the vendor fee i would have paid more if you <laughs> if it was more i know right i always underpriced but um but i mean it, we're in the middle of a pandemic so i get it but yes that is the one thing i won't hold you that is the one thing that i'm looking to get is experience Thank in you. this in doing this yes and where are you located i am located in sunrise florida okay cool and valerie alcaron my name is Valerie Alacon. Alacon. See, I, I said it all wrong. Everyone, Sorry. Everyone said, you know what? My name is about to change. I know. So you don't want to say it again. <laughs> but um, <laughs> um, I have, <laughs> I'm a virtual CFO. Right now, it's Valerie Alacon, virtual CFO, but I'm in the process of like rebranding and everything, but just to avoid confusion, it's Valerie Alacon, virtual CFO. I provide, um, accounting and business advisory for small like you know online businesses mostly but people just come through my door and i just try to help them and what do you hope to so, get on saturday yeah <laughs> i just try to help i just have a passion for seeing um minorities and women try to get more of the pie so i just have a heart for that someone comes to my door i'm going to try to help them okay but um, what I hope to get from this experience is just just to build relationships, try to try to build some relationships, and if again, if I can help someone along the way, even if it's just passing along advice or or a, a tip or something, and that that would make the event for me. Okay, cool. And Ray, did you say the name of the 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 industry you're in? No, I am in the jewelry industry. Thanks. I sell fabulous $5 jewelry and I change lives $5 at a time. Or Papa, Papa, that paparazzi. Paparazzi. Right. <laughs> paparazzi, I'm popping out, y'all. Hey. That'll be your brand. Hey. Your brand. <laughs> Monica. 
Cormier, and I probably said that wrong too. I'm just gonna say Eric no. You actually said it right. Oh, okay. Yay! <laughs> yes. So I'm Renika Cormier. I'm a Christian academic success and accountability coach for tweens, teens, and young adults, and I run the podcast Real Talk for Teens and Young Adults. I'm a coach, um, and what I'm hoping to get from the um, event is just to build community and to be able to, you know, talk face to face with people and let them know who I am and how much of a heart that I have for young people so that I can really, really impact their lives up close. I love it. I love it. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you for being here. Dr. Ipizu. Hi, my name is Olunwa and our brand is Ethnicity. And what we do is we have the most beautiful African accessories, handbags, head wraps, bangles, earrings, and we get them directly from Africa. They're handmade by women and we support their businesses. And we have an online store and we sell these online. So what we hope to get out of Saturdays is just exposure of our brand to more people. We want more people to know that we exist. We're confident that our products will sell themselves. So yes, we just need the exposure. I love it. What's and the name of your business again? What's the name of your ethnicity. business? Ethnicity. It's E N T Ethnicity. And I left my ring I on. You, I met you at that at that um event in um November. She was that there. Big event, women, women and yeah. power or something. She was there. She was her table was across from ours. Yeah, I got a head yeah. back from you. You probably don't remember me because she sold. I so just posted. Them. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Before COVID showed up. I tried to be everywhere, but um. Oh, okay. <laughs> but this happened, so yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alunwa came to our very first event in in nineteen. Lord have mercy. Why am I going back? I'm trying to go back to like nineteen hundreds for some reason. Um, in twenty thousand eighteen, she walked in with this gorgeous bag on her shoulder. It was like she was totally decked, right? And we were like, "Wow, what a gorgeous bag!" And she's like, "Just wait, just wait." And so I always do this. Your name, what you need, what you have. We do these rapid fires. She got up at the front of the room and she said, "Cause she had introduced herself as a loon one." We were like, "Oh, nice, nice bag, right?" She got up and she said, "I'm ethnicity." The whole room went, "Oh my God, I follow you!" And I was so excited to finally meet her face to face. She has incredibly beautiful stuff. And and she's just incredible. She brought snacks at like almost midnight to me the night before we opened so that we could have them in the space for the grand opening. This is our community. These are our Her Power Moves Insiders. You guys are phenomenal. Thank you so much for being here. Kia, Dr. Kia. Hey, hey I'm here. Um, I'm Kia Thomas, and I'm here on behalf of my company, Admissionisms. What we do is we make college applications simple and straightforward. Um, for a lot of students, it's, uh, it can be an overwhelming process. Schools kind of step in a bit too late. Um, and we want to make sure to kind of bridge the gap so that students and their parents have the individualized one-on-one -on -one support that they need to get accepted to, to colleges of choice, get scholarship dollars if that's part of their overall affordability strategy. So um, I'm super excited about the Unvendor event. My main goal is just to connect with people. Um, and those people could be uh, attendees at the event as well as other, you other women who are vending with us. Um, you never know like where, uh, I'm planting seeds out here. You never know where your support is gonna come from. And even if people can't use your services right now, they may know someone who can. So just planting seeds out here and seeing what's going to bear fruit. So that is, that's my goal. I love it. I love it. And last but certainly not least, the woman with these shoes that I adore, Teresa Kelly. Hi, everyone. Can you guys hear me? I just took everything off mute. Yeah, you're totally fine. Okay, so hello everyone. Good evening. My name is Teresa Kelly. I am the editor in chic at my Kiatu, and we are the not so ordinary shoe boutique for the extraordinary woman. Um, my goal is to inspire women to um, 
walk confidently into their extraordinary lives. Um, and I do that by way of it, these fabulous shoes <laughs> that I have. Um, fairly new business started in um, September. So I'm almost at a year, Michelle. <laughs> Uh, started in September, so and then you know COVID happened. So what I wish to gain, um, what I will gain um, from the event on Saturday is just more exposure um, to my business and just connecting with some additional extraordinary women. I love it. I love it. And so you guys have actually made the beginning of my talk really super easy and part of it is like by design i asked you not to talk about sales specifically but we are going to talk a little bit about the mindset of not going for the sale like i gotta make forty dollars i gotta make forty dollars and one cent for this to have been a valuable endeavor this is really about connections and exactly like kia said amongst each other in addition to with the public and to speak to the public piece we've had about 30 people so far who have registered for free tickets and y'all know i'm gonna push the hell out of this if you know me at all you know i'm just loud and everywhere so my goal Goal was to have our cutoff for vendors tonight so I can shift my focus instead of trying to bring in more vendors to being bringing in the public now so that they understand who's going to be in the room and why they should be there so you're going to see me pivot as of tomorrow don't think I'm ignoring you it's just that you're here we're going to get you all set up for success but Part of that success is ensuring we have people know about your existence and some of you have already seen i think i've pushed out everyone already on instagram on the flyers that i've been doing on a daily mm -hmm. basis okay so i wanted to um just quickly um just ask three ladies who have unvented with us before to just give a little flavor because you've done it in different places like teresa did the grand opening alunwa and kia both did the unvendor fair the um unvendor december event if you could just speak a little bit to the experience you had doing this because it is different and i don't know how many of you have vended in general before but unvending with us is a little bit different and so talk to the experience just briefly and then did you have a successful day however that was defined by you and kia lonwa teresa any of you can hop in i'll go ahead and talk um so yes i did do the the grand opening and it was a fabulous event in fact i shared with michelle that night that to date, uh, at that time, it was my most successful event. And it was really about, it really wasn't about selling. It was just really about communicating and engaging with um, the patrons that were there. And the, the community that was there was really friendly. They, they wanted to come and talk to you and get to know who you were um, as a person. And then as a result of that, um, if they chose to buy something great, if not, then you made a valuable connection. Um, and for me, that was, you know, a win-win in both ways. That's awesome. That's awesome. I'm excited about this. Build that email okay. list up. We're going to talk about that also. Alumwa, Kia, did you guys have it? I'm not putting you on the spot. If you have anything. Um, no, I'll go. It's Kia. Um, I went to Unvendor December, which was amazing. Oh, my gosh. I think that what made the difference for me is that everyone was so welcoming and supportive um i didn't feel any standoffish energy in the room and at least for me for my service like um I, I don't have products that someone could like leave the room with you know what i mean it's it's more about like showing what i have to offer and then having people raise their hands saying that they're interested and some of these people may not you know may not use my services like for a year or two years who knows like where their kids are like as far as their overall development and when they're going to finish high school but just being able to like again like plant those seeds and show how i can help i think is so important and so many people stepped up and said you know like you should talk to my cousin you should talk to my you know so yeah it, it was an amazing event the energy was so positive um it, it was such a really good experience and that was my first experience vending ever so as you see i'm back again and yes. i'm expecting the same thing for my virtual event yeah agreed 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 alone will you have for any my, yes yes for my experience um it, like everyone else has said it, it was a very um 
just has a lot of positive vibes, positive energy in the room, a lot of women excited. And for us as an accessory brand, wherever women are and they're excited, it's a good thing for us. So we, we did very well. Absolutely. Yay. Thank you. So I want to be sure, can you all see the two links in the chat? Because sometimes the chat is only as old as you've been in the room. So if you came in the room after I dropped them, I might have to drop them again. Can you see them? Yeah, okay. I, don't, I don't see any links. Okay. All right. I'm going to do them again. You got I'm it, Michelle, them. or you want me? I can do that while you talk. Oh, thank you. No problem. So... Was that Ronica? No, that's Ray. Yeah, Ray, Ray, thank you. Um, okay, so the first, um, the first of the two downloadables that you see, they're completely free. It's not opt-in or anything. I already got your email addresses. Y'all are stuck with me. <laughs> um, so the first opt-in is a PDF. I like to start every single workshop I do, I don't care what we're talking about, with intention, which is why I asked you about why are you doing this event on Saturday? What do you hope to get out of it? So the first PDF, which you can fill out on the screen or you can print out and, and write down, is something that I use and share for people to use not only with my presentations, but going forward. Every webinar, every live, every time that you sit down and take your time and or money to learn something from someone, there should be value exchanged. You should get what you intended to receive. And the only way to know that is to basically you know, figure out for yourself. Because a lot of us say, well, I know I need to be there, but we don't know really, do you? I'm gonna share my screen super quick, just so you can see the two documents. So this is called the What's In It For Me, the WIIFM, the channel that everybody uses to transmit from. And so you can write down like the title of this topic, any future um, events that you're on the platform, how much time. I'm, say, I'm giving it an hour and a half. If I have an hour's worth of content, maybe a little less, but please ask me questions as we're going along. I've allocated an hour and a half to be here just because we're gonna take some time to go into the technical pieces and I'm gonna walk you around your booth electronically and I really want you to be clear about that. What if any benefit is promised by the presenter? My promise that I'm making to you today is that you're gonna leave this room today knowing how to rock the hell out of your booth and how to make the connections and also how to use the technical understanding to make sure that you're successful. Um, the promises to me of the potential, et cetera. And then your action promise to yourself. So what is it that you promise to implement from a learning, a training? Now we're in a little different situation, right? You're gonna implement this on Saturday, but there may be some things that I tell you, like I know I had a conversation with Ray and I kind of remember saying, go watch Sassy Jones. If you wanna see how somebody does videos, exactly, yeah. Teresa, right? So if you wanna see how somebody, so that could be a takeaway that Ray would have today to implement within 24 hours to take her booty over uh, to shop Sassy Jones to see how Sharice sells because on saturday you know what <laughs> is she amazing or what which i did she is captivating exactly right oh and my, i'm not saying it's oh fire to be her or be like her but it's right. good to have that information about what else is out there and in the back and, of the sheet is no sorry to interrupt who is this before i forget oh sorry you oh girl oh. you're not you you're in a south everybody, everybody needs to follow you. her you definitely yeah. need to follow her look at some of her videos Sassy what? Jones, Cherise. Tomorrow night at eight o'clock. Just I'll watch put it, her I'll put it tomorrow in the night at eight o'clock oh, on yeah. Facebook. <laughs> she is basically her own walking QVC HSN network, which now she has deals with, right? Yeah. Because of her captivating demeanor, she is making a million dollars a month on accessories. Awesome. One million dollars per month from doing Woo! videos like we're going to do on this Saturday. Okay, so Amazing. that's the first one. That one you can use with any event that you're not just mine, but any event. It's fillable, as you can see. You can type right into it. Save it. This one is the second one. This one is specific to your fair event that you're vending in. Whether it's mine or anyone else's, um, I have this set up. What is the organizer's promise to me? I'm promising you guys that as of midnight tonight, when I stop marketing for unvendors, I'm going to bust my tail marketing for people to come in to come and see you and learn from you and connect with you. 
That's my promise to you that you get the value that you have put your money down for, right? Even if it is under, <laughs> underpriced, <laughs> you should still get value because you're taking your time. So that's my promise to you as the organizer. Again, take these documents with you. I didn't make this one fillable because this one I use in person and we've now pivoted to online. Um, and then on the back side of it are notes and an event checklist where it's like table chairs. Obviously, this is a lot of in-person stuff. But then there are lines over here for you to keep track and be organized so that when you show up on Saturday, you are good to go, especially for those of you who are going live. And if you are recording video, the same thing applies because if it's product specifically, you have to merchandise so people can understand and feel like they're experiencing it without being able to touch it. Right. And what that's why I suggest watching Sassy Jones. Honestly, watch her, watch Sharice no matter what you're selling. Okay, so I'm gonna stop sharing for a quick second. Does anyone have any questions? Not yet. I mean, I guess I do have a question. How does this um can you say you're the only because I'm like popping all over the place trying to, for some reason, find my, my stop sharing, but oh, I'm tripping. I'm tired. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Who was that? Was that Renika? That was, that was me. Oh, Valerie. There you are. Okay. Yeah. How does this work with, I've never done a virtual vending event, so how does it work when people approach you or? We're going to get into the technical. Oh, oh I'm okay. going to be sharing okay. my screen, girl. Yeah. I want you okay. to <laughs> Definitely. No, 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 no. When you get off of here, you're going to be like, oh, okay, I got this. I hope. If you're not, hit me up. And you know how to find me. You, got, you even got the bad number. All right. So you will be able to log in to the system five minutes before. The reason I've given you the form is because in this instance, I, they switched it. The bottom line is you don't set up your booth. I do. That's why I need your links for your videos. I need your logo. I need to know if you're doing a discount. That's what that form is all about. And you'll understand it when we go into it in a minute so that I can put in everything that the uh, people on the front side are going to see what you're responsible for if you're doing your video or your live. So what your room looks like. So for in the case of Teresa, Teresa probably would could put up her vendor table and have all the shoes laid out. Same thing with Ray and Alunwa, right? Have the shoes laid out. You know, Ronica might do a mixture of video. You can screen share, we'll get into that. And you can also submit the video to me. Now, here's the thing. If you are doing a hybrid of any type, as in you don't plan to be live the whole four hours, you either need to give me a, 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 a run link to a video that can be on when you're not there because I literally on the back end have to switch it over. So it's just a little bit of a technical piece. I have a question. Sure. Because so in an effort to try to keep, you know, that time frame engaging, I'm thinking I don't want to be a talking head for four hours. I can do it now because I can go like I can talk. <laughs> <laughs> So, but um, I did want to incorporate, you know, some different things. So would you, would it make sense for us to maybe, what I thought to do was to create like a run of show, like exactly. a topic run of show. That's exactly it. To mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Yep. I just need everybody's time. And I'm going to put that in the email that comes after this. I bombarded you guys with a lot of information already. So I didn't want to make it too crazy. Um, Cause I had sent like the vendor on the vendor booth tutorial that the company created and things like that. Um, so I wanted to make sure you have everything and not all at once. Cause sometimes it's just a lot. Um, so I will be, when I send the email, I will be asking you to tell me, the portion of time that you plan to go live and that will make me not um, have video at that time. I will need to switch it over when you're ready, but you'll have instructions on how to let me know you've arrived. So in okay. the back, it's like I'm, I'm backstage kind of like puppeteering everybody's um, activities and you just have to let me know, hey, I'm here now. I'm in the room. I'm here. Okay. 
So we're going to switch over because this is a lot of conceptual talk and I think it'll be very helpful to be able to see it on screen. Um, please do ask me questions as we're going through this because I think that um, if you have a question, someone else does too. Okay, so this is our test. I created a test platform and I loaded in three different types of expos. It is currently live, right? I set it up so it's live for like, you know, 40 hours or something like that. I am in here right now as if I was a member of the public, okay? So this is what they would see upon arrival. They're here at reception. So when they go on Saturday to No Small Business Left Behind, they're gonna land here, boom. And there's going to be under here, we have the opportunity for those of you who will be live and give me your schedule, I will be putting it down here. So they'll know when you're gonna actually be in your booth ahead of time, right? And it'll say, you know, she's in there now. Okay, so that's reception. We're then gonna go down to expo. I have a question. Sure. That first, that, um, that image you just sent, can you send that out? Because what, what I would it? like to do is, because I created um, on a, my email list, and I just kind of put a calendar invitation. Um, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, 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 so I'd like to include that. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, thank you. Awesome, thank you. So the expo, so I did three, and it was funny, Ronika, that you're here, Ronika, that you're here because I like converged you and, and Felicia. And so here I had as a tagline, we love teens. And I was like, no, that's not the right. <laughs> <brand." laughs> All right, so we have three different things here. So I'm gonna walk you through them. This is now what they would see when they arrive. Over here on, it should be, is it on your right? Is my mouse moving on your right or your left? Okay. So you see the chat here, so they can uh, do chats, people can have polls and connect. This is still in the main area. I haven't yet entered a booth yet. You can see I have my choices of booths to enter. So everyone's booths will be here. So we can go into social SW social support. Now, remember we're viewing this as a member of the public. So with her, I have a video in here. This is a YouTube video, right? Person lands in there, they press play. The video plays, this is their experience and it starts over for everybody. So not one, you know, it's not like somebody comes in and catches the tail end of the video. And then over here on the right hand side, that's her logo, her tagline, and her name. I made up some stuff, obviously. And then this, I'd like more info. This, you can tell me, Michelle, I just want their email addresses, or I would like to give them the opportunity to come to my website and do a downloadable or something like that. And then you're collecting the email addresses on your end. So is that clear? These are calls to action. Everybody has an email list, right? No, I'm not seeing what you're, I'm seeing pictures and video. I'm not seeing your mouse or anything. So I can you see my mouse moving here on the right hand side of the video. Mm -mm, no, I'm not. I don't know about anybody else. Maybe it's just me. Let me I move. See I can see the mouse. Yeah. Okay. Are you see see it's a heart? Do you see yeah. a blue button? I think my pictures are in the way. Hold on. Swap. How do I do this? I got to get these. So the pictures are all on the right side now. Oh, you got to, yeah, you got to move your people around. You'll okay. Up in the right hand yeah. corner, there's different um, views. Like you can put everybody in one line or whatever. That's why you see my mouse moving because I'm moving stuff around and you can't see that because gotcha. that's not the okay. part of sharing. So now you see it? Yeah. This is call to action. I do. This call I to do. action, you tell me. Is it going to uh, uh, an opt in for you or do they click? And I'm going to show you when we go to the next room that when they click on this, it'll automatically collect the email and send it to you in real time. So even if you're not there, whether you're there or not, if you've given them something enticing enough to click into, which you can say in your video or have as a call to action in writing, 
and they can click in. So I'm showing Jessica just because now this is a, um, a YouTube video. So you see how I have the booth and a chat and you chat within the booth. Otherwise you're chatting in the whole event and everyone can see what you say. So be mindful if you're talking to your folks to tell them, hey, click on the booth, I have a, you know? And if you have questions, you can ask those questions here. That's your booth chat. Additionally, you can see all the people and you get a listing of all the people who gave your, your email address, their email address and came to your booth and asked a question. You can get a printout of it, of any questions left in the chat. So you can reply to them after the event even if you're not there so the way this platform is set up is to give you this opportunity to kind of be like you're in a conference hall but also give that opportunity for you to not be standing there all day long either so the second one uh view and explore so with him again youtube video so he's not here i get a youtube video link that's what he did for her power space. That's our 3D walkthrough. And then over here, we have his logo again, his name, his tagline, so your tagline. And then we can go to his website. Now, you guys still see my screen going over, right? You see my website on there? Yes. Yeah. Okay. yes. So that's what happens. Now, notice, though, that it takes them to a different tag, which is great, a different tab. So then they can just come on back over to you. Same thing oh. if you are active on Twitter, you'll, you'll begin to notice um, there's a big movement to not do business with Mark Zuckerberg. And I know a lot of us do really well on Instagram, but these companies do not want to interface on the back end with his API. So you will see that we do not have a Facebook or Instagram option here. It's only Twitter. And I know that that's what's going on with these founders because more and more companies are not giving you an option to log in using Facebook because of how Zuckerberg does business. Okay, so I made up some crap, right? We rock your marketing by blah, blah, blah. Then the event offer, if you want to do, that's where I asked you, hey, do you have a discount or something like that you'd like to offer? That's where this would be. You tell me what to say here. 15% off, everybody who comes gets a free blah, blah, blah. You get a consult. Now, here's the difference with his. Sign me up, takes you to the website for this one. That's what it would be like if you told me, I just want them to opt into my page. I want them to go to my page and I already have my opt-in and my pop-ups and all of that. That's where they'll go. Now on this last one that we're getting ready to do, you're gonna see it's a little different. Do you guys have questions? Am I going too fast? I do have a question. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Can y'all use the raise your hand button? And then <laughs> there's a button there for raising your hand. I saw Teresa go. go. Okay, so my question is, um, so I know the event is from one to five and I keep hearing you mention that we don't have to be live and present um, for the entire time, and we can um, give you a video. Is there a certain amount of time that the video should be? Because I do have um, like some little quote unquote commercials that I, you know, have posted on like my Facebook and Instagram page, but as you know, those are only like a minute long. I would stitch them together and put them on a one, you know, a YouTube, Vimeo, or Wistia. Just, you know, string them along in a way that makes sense and then give it to me that way. But just think about the average person. How long are they really going to watch the video? How engaging is the video? You know, think about it from your own perspective. A minute could be plenty. But if you want to give that option to show more things, then stitch it all together. It's just that it has to be only one link. We can't have like multiple, it's not MP4s. I'm not loading up MP4s. I need to have YouTube, Vimeo, or Wistia, or else I can't put your video in there. Oh, so, okay. that, so I would suggest if for those, then yeah, you just stitch them together or just pick the one that is your favorite and that's your one minute video. Um, but, okay. but what I would say, um, to the extent you're able and you're good on video and, and, and you've got this, um, 
let people know, hey, I got this discount. Because sometimes people don't read. And so no. they might not read the discount over there. Whereas if you say at the beginning of your video and the end of your video, like put, embed the, the call to actions into audio video form as well. So make it a little personalized. Like at the beginning, say, hey, welcome to my booth here at the No Small Business, blah, 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 whatever you want to say versus just sort of stitching together stuff that you kind of already have out there on the web. If nothing mm -hmm. else, just put an intro and an outro on there that directs them to your call to action and makes them feel like you are kind of present with that day. You know? Okay. okay. That, and that's just, that's just a thought. That's just like a thought I'm giving you. Go ahead. What'd okay. you say, Teresa? I missed it. No, I was saying I'll try to um, possibly create a new one, um, but we'll see. Because I don't mind being there for the entire, you know, four hours, four or five hours. It's just that I know I have to take a break every now and then. And I just need to know when you do that. And you got to give me a heads up, at least a five minute. Head. The reason y'all keep hearing this is because I wanted to make sure if anybody needed to come in the room that I could hear it. So I will have all my alerts on. You guys will have my personal 516 number. Please only use that. Don't email me. Don't DM me. Don't tell me you told me on inbox on, on Instagram or Twitter. I will not see it during the event. Um, please just use my phone to contact me, but that's what you'll have to do. If you don't have planned times that you're going to be taking a break, because they're, they're going to come in to what I'm getting ready to show you next. Now, here's what could happen. And if you're cool with that, that's fine. The last one I'm going to show you is this one, which I did from my Ghani. This one is set up for it to, to go live. You see? So you can turn off your audio and your video. When they get there, this is what they're gonna see. It'll just say the presentation will start shortly. And you can't put like a, um, a static or anything there. No, Y'all can't, you can on your end. Unfortunately, the system doesn't allow that. That's why I'm saying, if you're gonna do that, let me know so I can switch you over. So at least it looks more welcoming by having a video yeah. on play. Does that make sense to everybody? Uh -huh. yep. And again, I mean, if you're just like doing a bio break or something like that, of course it can look like this. The presentation will start shortly and they'll come back and, you know, check back in. You can text me and say, hey, Michelle, tell people from the stage because we're going to have the DJ and the setup from the stage being like, hey, go see so-and-so's um, booth and, and just like being hype women for y'all. Um, one thing I will say is that um, I lost my train of thought. Ronika, go ahead. I'll come back to it. I know I'll come back to the thought I had. Okay, so on that part where you said, let me make sure I'm not on mute. So on the part where you said um, it will take them to our website. So if you choose to take, a, to take them to your website, essentially you could lose that lead because the other way you're automatically capturing the lead, right? Yeah, and that's a perfect okay. segue for what I'm getting ready to show you now. Just, I'm going to switch screens just for a quick second just to show you so you can understand what you will be getting. And it would happen on that one we were just on, but I'm going to show you. You will get an email that looks just like this. I, I did that test registration on the, the, the Maikani demo we were just on, and it says, from Hoppin to you, hi, we are letting you know that this person has registered interest in your booth. And you will get that in real time all throughout the day. Okay. So that goes right to you. I'm going to switch over. I think there were more questions, right? So Michelle, if I choose to stay the whole four hours, what will they see? They'll see me live with my setup if that's what you choose to do. And that's the other thing you can do is leave your camera on and just put a note that says back in five minutes or something, you know? So they see it, they'll see your room, they'll know that the room is gonna be live, right? Versus turning this off. So this is possibly gonna do something crazy. I actually have two cams set up right now on my computer. I didn't test this before, so we'll see. <laughs> Ronika, you have your hand up? Um, yes, I was trying to think here. Oh, so when will we, I, I know that you already told us this, but I just want to write this down and make sure that I have it. When will we know when our commercial time is? Friday. 
Friday. And so when do you need the, the sheets where we tell you like how, when we'll be in our, in front of our computers, because I'm seeing that could be a time when you're actually doing the commercial and you're not in front of your computer at that time, or you're doing something else. Uh, you want me to not schedule you during the time when you were already planned to be away. Is that what you're asking? Right. Yes. You were asked on the forum to give us a preferred block for your commercial. Okay. So our goal is to be within that preferred block and then have wiggle room to be able to, um, we have a meeting on Thursday. So, um, tomorrow, so we'll be able to do the final and hopefully actually have it to you Thursday night. And then you can let me know Friday if a time doesn't work for you. What we are doing is we don't want a whole lot of commercials. That's why we limited the amount of commercials that are there. We have 11, 12 commercials over a four hour event. And so that is taking people out of the booth and over to a, a social media platform. Because remember, we're going live. So we have an entirely different platform for going live. We're going live because Afenya has like over 10,000 followers on Instagram and we're gonna push it out to her stories and we're gonna have you go live on Facebook using StreamYard, which is a really simple back. You just come into the broadcast studio, go live and do your thing. I'll have you up on the screen by yourself and you'll push out. Um, but when it comes to um, ensuring that we have everybody still shopping with you we didn't want to say hey go look at so-and-so's commercial for the whole time that would defeat the purpose of having the booths so that's why we only have like tops three commercials per hour and they're no more than five minutes long so the goal is for you guys to tell us the times that work for you and then three each will go across the day who signed up for the live because otherwise we want people in here shopping and connecting. That's what I was gonna say when I was talking to Teresa. When don't, I would say don't go live the entire time because that will then make it not possible for you to go interact with other people because you have to leave your booth to go interact with other people. You're, you're muted, Teresa. I, love um, I said, that's what I was thinking as well. I kind of put out, um, a brief little show times. I think I'm going to do like every 30 minutes or something. Exactly. Like that. And that yeah. makes sense. And again, you can still use your table. And, in, and even what I gave you, and you already know how to merchandise your table. The second form that I gave you ladies has both for rounds and for rectangular planning your table on the page. Um, and then, you know, structuring it in a way that even if you're not standing at it, it's welcoming. So like I said, you can put even your laptop up. Well, no, it depends on what you're using. If you have two laptops or something, just to put a sign up that says, you know, back in five minutes, back at 235, back at 245, I'm visiting other vendors, you should too. You know, like be creative and fun, but let them know that, hey, you're not gone. You're just taking a little bit of a break and, and, and mixing it up with folks. Alunwa, you have a question. Oh, yes, the commercial, how, what form is that? What form is it a video? Or yeah, how you're going to be live. You're going to be live right. for three to five minutes. And you're going to come on StreamYard and go live um, on two different Facebook pages. And that's the part. We think Black Girl Beach Party has the most traction. And my personal Facebook are the two best Facebooks. And then we're pushing them out on Afenya for the I Can Collective, DJ Shelly Rockstars, and my um, Instagram. They're gonna go into stories. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, because you know we can't we can't live stream to Instagram on, from a third party um, without you being on like one of our. It's just too complicated. So we're gonna live stream in real time on Facebook only, and then in the back end we're gonna upload to Instagram okay. immediately, everybody's commercials as they go. This is crazy. I don't even know why I come up with this stuff sometimes, you know? Go ahead, Ray, you had a question. I did, and y'all have to show me how to raise my hand. Raise your hand. In the you Zoom you thing, don't see look looking. Girl, listen. Cover, cover <laughs> I see your ellipses. That's what's well, messing me up. And it's not there anyway. It's down at the bottom, probably. Okay. <laughs> 
I have a different. Yeah, it's not there either. I've been like looking, looking, looking. I have looking, a different looking. setup than you do. Y'all tell her where it is. I told y'all I'm new. I'm not new to everything. I'm a new That's entrepreneur. I'm a new. I'm new to social media. I'm new to every all of this. I was not on anything <laughs> before I got into my business. So I am a true novice. Well, um, but my question was, how? So how many different things do we need to like? Because of course, I don't want to. I'm sure you don't want any one vendor to overwhelm you with stuff so it's like, in your form that's where everything is organized okay. right so okay. you're giving me a link so now that you've heard one this, link yeah for video okay. right one okay. link for video okay. logo two can be two because you saw when we're out here in expo two pictures there's a background so like this could be ethnicity when i actually a little more when i i tried this before i put my Ghani in there I tried it with the woman and the purse that you gave me and literally her, it was just this middle part was her dress. So, and I can't resize. That okay. is a platform issue. So you need I a horizontal then? Give it to me or the other option is I can make it square like this and then it should show up. So I'm going to oh. have to play with stuff, which is the other reason why we're deadlining as of tonight because I'm going to be working on everybody's site to make it look um, aesthetically pleasing. Um, so I'm just letting you know, like, please don't give me like crazy kinds of pictures and stuff like that, because this system is, is not the best for that. You could tell the graphics are not great on this. They have to work on this. Um, before I go back in, because I'm not actually finished with my Ghani and showing you all of the different um, opportunities in here, and I know it's a lot, so I want to take a break to say, how y'all doing? <laughs> no, okay. Good. Uh, it's Kia. I got a question. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so I've never used StreamYard before. So for us as vendors to do the live commercial. It's going to be super easy. I'm giving you a set of instructions offline that's not going to the other people. It's going okay. to be so easy. I got promise it. you it's easy. In fact, it's so easy. I'll show it to you right now. Um, but I'll wait. Let me let me come back to those, it. Right? Well, I'm gonna come back to it because not everybody is every everybody here is not doing a commercial. I don't think. Yeah, everybody here is not doing a. Let me do. Can I do that at the end? So how about this? May I just do an add-on for Yard Stream? Nope, Streamyard at the end of this so that we have this recording clear and clean for everybody and then we'll continue to record just for the folks who are doing live commercials if you want to stay on is that okay because yes. i really don't want to get people confused and i want to stay in this realm but yeah definitely key i'll come back to it it's really okay. easy all right so i'm going to see what happens here when i share if it'll let me choose the second of my two cameras um, and y'all gonna have to ignore, ignore the fact that this one's gonna go way beyond my green screen. So it's gonna look not attractive. At all. Can y'all see that? <laughs> not attractive at all. Okay, so that's it, right? So this is the same as if you went on Zoom, right? So then, um, should pop up, did I do it? Maybe I clicked, I clicked away from it. So you do it like a Zoom, right? You share your audio and your video. I think my computer is probably thinking that I'm a crackhead right now for trying to use two different cameras. There it is. All right, so ignore my pajama pants. <laughs> All right, so this is the second camera, right? So this is what you look like in your booth. Additionally, this number up here lets you take and put additional people if they're over here in your chat on screen with you so you can literally do live conversations in this instance it's set at 10. Um, we're going to have it set up to 20 for you since we won't be recording the rooms um, and that can work the other thing is down here, you can actually share your screen. Now, I'm going to not do that because I really feel like I'm already taxing my laptop a little bit here, but you can share your screen and do presentations. So Kia, this is perfect for you and Val because you have lots of service-based stuff. 
So you can literally share your screen while you're live in your space. So, so that option, I, again, in trying to be engaging for the entire time, I wanted to bring somebody in to kind of do like a panel discussion. Yeah, absolutely. You can um, bring up to 19 people in with you. Okay. And okay, cool. And I, cause I was just trying to make sure that that's something that I can do. I know I came too late to do the commercial piece. No, you're good. That's what I'm saying. This still, oh, I'm going to leave part of it room cause okay. it's not attractive at all. Um, but you see how easy it is. As if, if everyone's used Zoom or something similar, you can see this is pretty straightforward. Then you go back in and share your audio and video again when you're ready. So yeah, for sure, um, Renika, you're set to go because once you're in that share audio and video space, you are the moderator of that booth. So your people, you can tell them, hey, we're going to do a um, live chat. And at the same time, then let me know, right? Because from the stage, I'm going to be like, because when people land in reception, they're going to go straight to stage. And that we're going to be here. So this is where we're going to be having the DJ and me being a hype woman. We're going to be here saying, go to so-and-so. Oh, I just heard somebody got some fire shoes from my Kiatu. Did you see that? Blah, 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 right? And so that's what I'll be doing throughout the day. So at your specific time, in addition to them being able to see it as part of the schedule, that that's what you're doing. That's the other reason to tell me the time so that they can see the schedule. Then you can also um, have me tell them, hey, guess what? There's a panel discussion going on right now. And that would again be good stuff for us to know ahead of time to be able to push out in our marketing. Right. Excuse me for you. Okay. So you see here, visit Expo. See, they're being driven to explore your booths, even though they're right here in reception. They're being driven to come see you. So visit Expo, and that takes them to where you'll be, and they'll scroll and be able to see. So now you see is how important it is that your graphics are good. And as you can see, this white, depending on what your, you know, this can end up not being really re legible. So mm -hmm. either make a darker background or make sure your logo is so fire that people just click on it because they're going to want to see because they might not be able to read it. So, you know, full disclosure, this, this platform launched in November they got a cash infusion in april because of covid and people believing investors believing that they would have an uptick in business right and so they're constantly iterating they're constantly iterating um and that's something that they just haven't made as nice i think some of this front end stuff they do a lot of back end stuff but the front end stuff could could definitely use some more love okay so i want to make sure i cover everything that was on Yep. And then the last thing I had was about, you know, where the commercial folks will be. What other questions can I answer for you? So while you're on the booth, like, do you actually have to be doing anything during the video or? To the video? Yeah. Like while you're being, like, while your camera's on and you're sitting on, in the booth. You're just waiting for someone to show up? Well, or? that's one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And you know how to text me to be like, okay. so, But you don't have to like be talking the whole time that you're there, right? You just. No, because you'll know when you're by yourself. Okay. You'll know as soon as people come into your booth. Okay. Okay. All right. And you'll be able to say, hey, welcome. So happy to see you. But you got to watch your chat. That's how you know they're there. And then okay. you can even say, hey, you want to come on screen with me? And we can actually just talk verbally. Okay. Okay. And then the final thing I'm going to show you, and I'm on the fence about whether or not to use it on Saturday, but I want to show it to you because it might be one of those audibles that I call, and that is the networking place. So in this area, In this area, I went to networking. So we were in Expo. I went to networking. And here, 
you can meet with individuals. So what I might do throughout is say, okay, vendors, like depending on what the ebb and flow is, right? Say, hey, vendors, you guys want to drop in and network with each other? Hey, customers and vendors, do you want to come in? Because they might meet someone whose booth they hadn't visited by going to the one-to-one. And it literally puts you face to face. And so I'm going to set it so everybody can meet with everybody. So you guys can run into vendors there. And what, so what we might do is just like, you know, five minutes every hour, cause it's set, I might have it set for only two to three minutes. So one person talks, the other person talks. And if you like each other, you press the, like, it's like speed dating. You press the connect button and it shares your information with each other. Like your LinkedIn and stuff like that, that you have in there. So I think I'm going to do some of that just to mix it up and be like, okay, unnetwork. And so vendors, Put everything on pause, everybody, you know, blah, 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 blah. And then you can network in face-to-face, one-on-one. So that deepens connections. So we'll see how the flow is. I'm not going to do it when there's a bunch of people at your tables because that would defeat the purpose. (laughs) But so we're just going to leave that as an audible. But I wanted to let you know it exists. And it'll be a good option for y'all to interact with each other and meet each other face to face. And then also remember when you go to one another's booths, you can say, this is the vendor from so-and-so here. Hey, how you doing? And then they can bring you online and you guys can end up having your own party. If you have some type of compliment, like let's be creative. Let's make it fun. I see, what'd you say, Ron? Renika? You're on mute. I said, oh. Exactly. <laughs> like, let's make this fun. This is like a party. Like, y'all know. I mean, those of you who have been around me know my personality is kind of like extra. I'm not saying being as extra as me, but bring your own. Because Valerie is like, yeah, Michelle, I'm not doing all of that. Um, but, <laughs> but that being said, just come and have fun is my point. Make it creative. Enjoy yourself. And just like, who knows? Like, I know myself, it's going to be some unexpected stuff that I haven't even thought of because I haven't had a chance to just sit and think and be creative about how the day is going to go from an entertainment perspective, aside from DJ Shelly Rockstar spinning. What other questions may I answer? Anything else you want to go back and look at? Some of y'all might be muted if you're talking or wanted hey, to we're, talk. We're filling out those forms and submitting those, that the deadline is this evening? No, the deadline is this evening. If somebody wants, who's not already registered as an unvendor, wants to unvend, they have okay. to have their form filled out and be paid by tonight. Gotcha. And then, um, not that you need anything else to do, but maybe somebody that's done this before could help. I was wondering if I kind of create my run of show, if somebody could give me some feedback, maybe somebody, either yourself, if you have time. Your run of show that you're creating, because you're going to get from me Mm -hmm. some um, specific questions about your time in the email that I'm sending tonight that includes the replay of this conversation. So when you look at that and see, and then I'm going to reopen everybody's forms because they might be locked. I'm going to reopen your forms so you can go back in like a loon where you're going to probably want to upload different logos now that you see. And I'm going to do a little bit of rejiggering because the Google form was doing something funky that it only allowed you to upload two links and a picture it looked like. So I want to expand that, but there's a bandwidth issue. So everybody has my email address. If you have something that doesn't fit into the form, but you want to make sure that is there a way to work it into your booth, remembering that you have limitations on what the booth can do. You know, I'm limited to how much, you know, we show. So you got two logos and a link for your video. That's pretty much it, right? Okay. And then telling me, what you want your tagline to be like that's going to be in an email tonight okay so that's what i'm saying where there was so much information to put all that in a form you know it was just a lot because i i believe it does say in the form what's your tagline but most people are not going to think like that until you see this video and you're like oh that's the thing that does the thing the thing right so i try to balance out information share to not overwhelm people 
tonight you're going to get another right. dump of information and the link to this video perfect okay because i need she needs parameters because i am overboard susie honey i will just overdo it and we don't want welcome that. <laughs> we got lots of extra people so i'm taking a quick shot of us oh wait that's not the best background and then i'm going to switch to Streamyard. so if y'all have questions now about this um and pass down yay if y'all have questions about this now um how's it going with the marketing has everybody been okay with the flyer that it went out and tagged them and all of that we're gonna like push your names again so people know who's gonna be there and once we get the schedule especially for live commercials we want to market that and then i'll be marketing the whole time the event is live and by marketing you know i mean social media and stuff I'm sure what is the name of this platform is that hopin h-o-p-i-n dot two t-o hop into so it's like hopping into a meeting hopping into an event oh, hopping. <laughs> So um, any question? Because we're recording, so I'm going to switch over to StreamYard then. If there are none, you know how pastors like, so are there Michelle, any? If there are none. <laughs> Michelle, um, Lord, I forgot my question just that quick. Oh, uh, will you, I can't remember um, if I signed up for the commercial or not. Will you send that out? Yeah, you, everybody who has a live commercial is going to get an email from me, and you did sign up for it. Oh, I feel like I signed you did. up for everything I did. <laughs> I feel like you did. Yeah, because you definitely signed up before they sold out, and Aluma got the last one. Aluma was not playing. That thing went in four minutes. It hit my IG, and I happened to come back because I might not have even gotten, I don't get alerts on IG. I came back. Aluma was like, I got that one. That one is clean. <laughs> it's done. I was like, okay, sis, I got you. So um, I'm going to switch over to StreamYard now. Everybody who's not doing a commercial is free to stay and or go. It's totally up to you because this is really, really easy. Um, as soon as I remember the email. Oh. Okay. I forgot, I'm, I'm, I'm on incognito mode for this. Um, let me check. So I gotta get a login code from them. So the commercial is just us talking about our business, right? Just a quick little. But well, wait, like what there's we more. Today. You say you watch Sassy Jones. You know it's not just you doing anything. This is like, hey girl, hey, you could do your shoe change ups and be like, girl, you could da 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 and da 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 and all that. Like um, uh, boutique sales chic. She's doing a fashion show. She literally has it. models coming and doing her clothing on a fashion show in her booth. And um, as part of her commercial, I guess she'll do something creative with that too. But like, dude, let's just go, let's get crazy. Let's get nuts in the words of Prince. Like make it fun <laughs> on your commercial. It's three to five minutes. So I know it's gonna feel fast. It will. But if you plan it out right now, like part of it is scripted, you know that there are really great, um, uh, what are those things called? Caption um, things that you can put on like an iPad so that you can read some parts of it. So, you know, if you want some parts of it to be scripted and then mm -hmm. make some parts of it, but just think, just think sassy, just think that, but wait, there's more OxyClean guy. Like be engaging, pull people in and know that this is like going out to a lot of people. Based on our own um, sort of insights, it should be about a half a million. So I would say be fun. So this is StreamYard. So let's say I create it to go to these two accounts, right? Um, create the broadcast as a member of the public coming in. So I'm on my back end right now, but I just want to show you again, just like, just like every other, um, every other online platform. It asks to use your mic. I, again, I might have a problem right here. Let me make sure. 
There, we're good. Okay. So you guys, you y'all can see this, right? Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. So my mic is working. My camera's working. I want my name to display as you can do your IG name. You see how it's populating in the lower thirds there? Did you see how her yep. most just populated? Now I'm going into the broadcast studio. So you put your display name there and then go on in. You're going to have your link. This is my branding for my um, get my Tuesday uh, lives on Facebook. I get added to the stream. That's me by myself. So this will be you by yourself. Again, your logo will be here because I'm trying to make sure we get you branded properly. And you can be on screen by yourself and then go. I press go live and we're live. Okay. Y'all got this. Seems very straightforward. Now, what happened Saturday? I have no idea. But I know I'm prepared. <laughs> I'm prepared. So now I let can't me speak to none of this technology. <laughs> All right, so um, I'm going to stop the recording because that was super simple and probably enough recording for everybody's life. Okay, does anybody have anything else we should add before I press stop? Okay, Ronika, you have a question, so I won't press stop recording yet. Yeah, so my question is, are we going into our own StreamYard account or? No. Okay, 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 okay. So we're no, you're going to get a link from me to enter yours, to enter for your commercial. I have a lot okay. of back end stuff to do. Y'all can see why I'm like, please send me your stuff. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now please, and, and, and we're just at 20 vendors, I think. We're at like 20, 21 vendors, something like that. So imagine if everybody doesn't give you their stuff until Saturday morning. They're going to be sure. It's overwhelming. Yeah. 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 But there's a lot to be done on the back end. But that's the bottom line. You will be getting those different emails so the live people are going to get a different email everybody's going to get this email tonight with this replay so i am going to stop now thank you for joining we look forward to seeing you i'm michelle tower of the no small business left behind summit and we look forward to seeing you saturday on august 15th